So we are in Shari Gdusha again, the first chapter. Askilcha v'orcha kama gdola ra'at ha'adam ba'asato achat mikol ha'mitzvot ha'shem sh'asa mitzvot asher lo ta'asena. O b'yiman o milikayem achat miramach mitzvot ase asher nitzavah v'hen ba'asota. So Rabbi Chaim Vital here in this chapter is coming to tell us in detail all the meaning of the mitzvot. Okay, we know the mitzvot, we have 630 mitzvot, this is divided to the positive mitzvot that you have to do and the negative mitzvot that you should not do. Okay, so here in this chapter is coming to explain what happens if someone do what he should have not done or not do what he should have done. Okay, meaning what is the harm that is coming in the spiritual uh, identity of the person, spiritual world, in doing something wrong? And what is he missing when he is not performing one of the positive mitzvot? Nodal ba'alei mada ki guf ha'adam איננו האדם עצמו מצד הגוף, כי זה נקרא בשר האדם. Okay. So it is known in the world, even in the non-Jewish world, many people recognize that the body, the physical body, is not the real identity of the man. כמו שכתוב אור ובשר תלבישני בעצמות וגידים תשוחחני. Okay. There is a פסוק in איוב that is saying your, uh, that, that is saying that, that Hashem gave us a garment of flesh and blood okay with the bones and tendons and everything but all this garment is resting upon the spiritual ident identity of the person al basara adam lo isach נמצא האדם הוא הפנימיות, אבל הגוף הוא עניין לבוש אחר, אחד תתלבש בו נפש השכלית, אשר היא האדם עצמו בעודו בעולם הזה. So, what is the real identity of the man? So, the real identity is something that is internal, and all the physicality is surrounding on this internal identity and this internal identity is also divided to many many levels okay and the first level that Rav Chaim Vital here is speaking about is what he is calling Nefesh HaSichlit the intellect soul אחר הפטירה יופשט מעל להב הלבוש הזה ויתלבש בלבוש זך, נקי ורוחני. אוקיי? So what happens after a person passed away? He doesn't have this garment of the physical body anymore. And the spirituality of the man goes up to its place in the next world and it has a different garment that is more spiritual. כמו שכתוב, וסירו הבגדים מצויים, וגומר, ואלבש אותך מחלצות. זה נקרא חלוקה דה רבנן. And this concept of the spiritual garment of the, of the future to come, the world to come, that's called in the Gemara, in the Zohar, it's called חלוקה דה רבנן. The garment of the rabbis. Okay? So, why garment of rabbis? People that are not rabbis, they don't deserve a, a garment in the world to come. So we'll see further on in the book, Bezrat Hashem, that this garment of the world to come is all made from the mitzvot, the commandments the person did in this world. So as much as you did more mitzvot, with, with more enthusiasm, with more passion to do it in the right way, to do it 
more in all the details of it so then the garments that your soul will have in the world to come will be more will nicer and more respected um, as much according to according each one according to his level Okay, so like we have 613 mitzvot, also the body have 613 parts of the body, and also the soul in the body also have 613 parts of the soul. So we see that everything it goes one according to the other. Okay, the body and the and the soul of the man is together unite with the Torah. Torah have the fourteen six hundred thirteen, and also the man have the six hundred thirteen. להמשיך על ידם אדם והחיות מעבר אל עבר כדמיון צינורות. So what happens when, a, when someone is doing a mitzvah? So, like we said, there is every mitzvah have one part of the body that is connected to, right? Because everything is divided to 613 and you have one against one. So each mitzvah have a certain part of the body. So when, we, when you do a mitzvah, you bring the spiritual abundance to this part of the spiritual body, of the soul. ואחר היצירת הגוף נפח בו נפש, חיה, כלולה מרמה חברים ורוחניים ושעשה גידים. Okay, and when Hashem created man, <coughs> He made the body, and he brought into the body the soul that have the 613 spiritual uh, parts and they are also one against the other with the Torah and the mitzvot שלגוף ואז פועלים איברי הנפש פעולתם על ידי הכלים שהם איברי הגוף כגרזן ביד החוצב Okay, and and really, when someone is doing something with his body, so there's also something similar to the physical movement in the spiritual identity that is within him. Okay, and the proof for that is that when the soul is not in the body meaning when a person passed away so the spiritual the, the physical body doesn't function right what's the, what the, the, the ability of the eye to see is depend in the spiritual abundance and the connection between the spiritual eye and the physical eye <laughs> ומסתלק הנפש חשכו הרועות בערובות ונתבטלו כל החושים מרמה חברים. אוקיי? So, that's what happens when a person passed away. Everything becomes empty. All the physical body becomes useless because there's nothing to activate the body. All the, all the different parts of the body, everything each one have spiritual part that is connected to and when there's no spirituality there's no physicality okay so like that we have also the Six hundred, uh, three hundred and sixty-five tendons. That is, 
against the 365 negative commandments the person should not do and when a person is preventing himself not to do something that is forbidden it brings the abundance to those tendons of the body okay like we said in the positive mitzvot it's the same idea also in the negative mitzvot לאחר הפטירה אין שום חיות נשפע, וגידי הגוף גם כן מתפרקים ומתרקבים כמו רמח האיברים, והיו כלא היו. So also when a person passed away, also those 365 attendants will be uh, becomes rotten and uh, this is not great. <coughs> Why? Because when he is not performing the negative mitzvot, meaning when he is not preventing himself from doing the negative mitzvot, he will be also without the spirituality that is in the physical. נמצא כי האדם בעצמו איננו כי אם נפש השכלית אשר מתלבשת בגוף הנקרא לבוש שלה בעולם הזה. And we see from all of that that the man is only the spiritual part that is resting in the physical body that is the garment in this world okay so there is a very obvious question that I'm sure you're asking yourself when you hear those words what about all these people that are not keeping the Torah right according to this what we just said they don't have the spiritual abundance, so the soul cannot give life force to the body, so they should have died. Right? If they don't keep in the, the Torah and the Mitzvot, they should have died because they don't have the abundance. Right? Like when a person doesn't eat, doesn't get the physical abundance, so in some point he will die. So it should have been also here like that. So how is it that we see people around us that are not keeping the Torah and at least physically they are alive? So, so Rav Chaim Vital will answer this question further on but because it is so obvious question so I want to, to give a partly answer. The answer is that that what should have been in the in the world of truth that what should have been but if that what will be so people will not have choice okay when a person is very very lazy and he doesn't want to get up from his bed in some point he will get up why because he needs to eat if like his body pushes pushes him to go to find food even though he's very lazy, but if no one brings him food, he will get up from the bed eventually, even though he's very, very lazy, right? So, if it would have been that we have this connection between the spiritual and the physical, in a way that when you're not giving the spiritual amanas to the soul, the physical is missing something, and it needs to look for it, so there won't be a choice anymore everybody will have to keep the Torah and because Hashem created the world in a way of each man should have the choice is he keeping the Torah is it doing the will of Hashem going in the right way so the test is are you keeping the Torah even though you feel that you don't have to you feel it seems that you can have the, the everything even without it. Okay? And this is the test. Because really, it's not like that. Okay? For example, let me give you an example. Let's say 
I have a big factory, okay? And you working for me, and I tell you, listen, your work is to act this, uh, activate this machine every day from eight to four. Okay, you do that, you get your salary. You don't do that, you don't get your salary. So, let's say someone was lazy and he didn't get up and he didn't put, he didn't work what he should have done. So, in the end of the month, if he sees he doesn't have money, so next month he will push himself to do it because he needs the money, right? But if in the next month he see he gets the money anyhow. Okay, so the manager doesn't care that I'm that I'm lazy and I'm sleepy. So I keep I, 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 so he, said, he tells himself I can I can uh, stay uh, in bed. I don't have to wake up. I get the salary anyhow, right? So so you have the choice. Okay, Sh what what do I do? I do the right thing. I go to work because that's what I was told. I told I, I sh that's what I should do. Or I do whatever I want because I get my salary anyhow, right? So because Hashem wanted to give us the choice, so He's giving us the salary, meaning the physical abundance and strength, even without keeping the mitzvot. But it is not because we deserve it. We are deserving the abundance only if we're keeping the Torah and the mitzvot. We get it anyhow to have the test, right? But this worker that didn't wake up and he didn't do the work, okay, so after a certain time they will call him to the court and tell him, listen, you owe us this uh, big amount of money. Why? You gave it to me. Yes, but you didn't do the work. We told you you have to do the work. You didn't do the work. You got the money, you enjoyed the money, and you didn't do what you should do. So you have to pay, right? And this is the world to come that everybody have to face what they did in this world. And Bezrat Hashem, uh, maybe the next few, will continue with the deeper answer of the Rabbi Chaim Vital. Like I said, what I said is only the first understanding, the basic understanding of this question, because it is very, very basic and uh, strong question. So I hope to meet you next time in the Shiur of Shari Dusha from Kever David Amelech, Yerushalayim. Kol Tuv, blessings for you and your families.